Hello everyone, welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time what I am going to show you is how to create a charged attack. Like this, when I press and hold the left mouse button, this guy will charge like this and when I release it, he will do this longer attack. <gasps> if I Press and release the mouse button, button once, like this, he will do this normal attacks. But when I hold and hold for about 2 seconds and release, he will do this combo attack. So that's what I am going to do today. Alright, let's get started. And before that, I should thank my generous Patreons. So these guys are the ones who are sponsoring this video. Thank you very much for the support you are giving me. That means a lot to me. Also, if you want to support my work, you can go to my Patreon page. I'll put the link in the description below. And you can join my Patreon club. And there you will have access to the project files and other articles and other code snippets and everything I am posting there okay let's get back to work okay so to do the charged attack first what I need is uh, the montage some modification to the my montage that I am using for the attack for example let's check one of these existing attacks so here when i am charging the attack i should stay in this position before launching the attack when the and when the charging is done i should execute the attack like this so how do we go about this okay uh, let's create a new animation montage from this one create an a montage charge charging means actually actually charging means uh, well I suppose you know what charging is holding the attack this position and uh, by holding the power of the attack will be increased and when launched the attack will be more powerful than a normal attack okay so this is the newly created montage and I need only this part so I'll remove from where frame 1 to 11 to 45 Well, I can't know how where should I do that right right here so I should use only up to point three one eight. to this point and also how do I hold in this position well maybe there is a better way to do that I'm not sure but for now I'll do it like this I'll get the same montage and drop here same animation or the montage and drop here and here I need only start time will be 0.318 and ending time would also be 0.319 okay it's hard to see that part no uh, 
let's add the ne next section as a loop in part new montage section I'll call that loop and I'll make it loop in like this and now I'll set the starting point to this and ending point to 0.319 like this so when I play the animation it would be well not like it shouldn't be like that it should be like right I should move that loop section into the looping part of the animation like this I'll zoom in to see that section properly now it should work fine right I'll zoom out and play it again so this is how we begin and stays like this and I'll make this part only for the upper body because uh, by doing that it will allow me to move or walk while I am charging the attack okay now the montage part is done and let's go back to our blueprint the human and here this is my attack function or attack event here I do the attack when uh, once I press the attack button so instead what I'm going to do is I'm gonna call this part when I release the attack button and this part I'm going to use for the charging part and before doing any of these things I should check if my character is ready like this with is ready function I'm doing this because uh, otherwise I would have problems while by playing multiple montages and overriding them and overriding them and therefore some certain notifiers animation notifiers will not be fired and I will run into problems I have talked about that before so to be safe I have implemented this is ready function so if I am ready then I should check if the sword is equipped I have for that I have also implemented this macro which I have done earlier so I am going to use that here this is the inside of that macro which you have seen before okay and after that check if check sword equipped and after that I should play any montage and here I have to select that charge montage like this and let's quickly check how does it work so far well no here I am going to now I am holding my mouse button and nothing happens let's check again
okay it is supposed to run like this but I guess for some reason my ready is false so that's why this is not happening the attacking is not happening charging is not happening because my ready variable is not is false yes the default value of the ready should be true right and also here I have checked if I am dead so I guess uh, I can put that inside my ready function is dead so if I am dead I will never be ready so and and not dead and not dead so I will be ready if I am ready and not dead these things will be a little confusing for you if you haven't referred to other videos but I don't have time to explain everything in this video because it will take too long okay now let's check right now I am charging and when I release yeah it works I'm charging and now you can walk while charging right so it worked and the other problem is yes now that the charging e part is done okay I'm charging and I can walk well this does not look nice but still it is functioning well that's the takedown again charging and I should do something like when I'm holding like this my sword should get red or something if I have already charged let's make this guy play or do the combo attack so for now it is the combo attack works like this if I have consequently <gasps> launched for three attacks the third attack will be combo attack this <gasps> so let's make this guy do the combo attack if I have already charged so how can I do that so I should have some kind of a timer here like this I'll add a delay of two seconds and I'll also have a variable to hold the charge in a state so I'll create a new variable under fight a new boolean called charging and well I should not call it charging I think I should call it charged and uh, well I guess I need two variables one to uh, one for the state of if it is charging another one is if it is ch already charged so here in this section I should set charging to true and when I release it set charging to false and here after the delay if I am still charging that means if I am still holding my left mouse button then I should set charged to true right
okay and also I should have a do once node here and a reset uh, otherwise we will run into a problem but but let's deal with that later okay now here I should use this combo attack when I have already charged so how can we do that yeah we can do it like this I'll get the charged variable here and here when my attack count is 3 or 2 no not 3 2 when my attack count is 2 I play this combo attack so when I am charged I'll do a select here not like that yeah like this and this is the and if this is false I'll use this attack count if this is true I'll give the attack count as 2 and after this step I should always set charged to false no matter what even if I have not charged I should set it to false right so here what happens is I think it's pretty clear to you let me if you are not let me know in the comments right now let's check charging and yeah, I am doing the combo attack uh, when I am charged right so again when I do a normal attack it is like this and when I do a charged attack this no I didn't charge it enough time here this time okay now one, two, three. Right. One, two, three. Right. So again, I'll show you. One, when I press and release the mouse button at once, like this, it does normal attack. And when I hold my mouse button and release, it does this longer <gasps> attack okay so that's all for today and in the next time let's work on when I'm holding this attack when I'm charging and after my attack reached or fully charged let's make this sword glow in red or something like that to denote that our attack is fully charged now all right uh, see you in the next episode goodbye